Hello dear friends, welcome to another video of the Never Do Through the Wii, what you can do through the CLI channel. I am Vangelis and today we will be uh, talking about Rust U interfacing with JS libraries, Coliseus. So we will talk uh, <coughs> specifically about this library, which is a library that is used for um multiplayer uh, gaming uh, I don't want the docs give me a minute uh, multiplayer framework made fast and simple so I wanted to specifically check the integration with this library with uh, Rust U uh, to create a prototype because we may need this in a project and as I said in the previous video I, I would look into it uh, uh, and indeed I have uh, 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 I have uh, looked into it uh, I was a little bit uh, busy with various uh, things this is why I did not create this video sooner but today we will get the chance to see uh, this in action so let's close this and uh, if you check the docs for this library this is uh, the first let's say step in the process you have a client and you join or create a specific uh, room so we have this join or create method which accepts a room a string and uh, possibly some options and it connects to the server so this is the simplistic uh, usage that I tried to reproduce in Rust EU for the prototype sake. And first of all, of course, we have to create a server. So let me show you a little bit the setup. So I created this uh, Coliseus server. The client, this client here is a JavaScript uh, client, uh, so that I would. Uh, check the JavaScript functionality first to have it as a base, let's say. But uh, what we are interested in is the server. Here is the server. Uh, if you check the docs, this is how you can define a server. And the server stops, starts listening. So the first thing that we have to do is create a server and run the server and this is what we are going to do so we will come to our terminal and here as you can see I am in that server directory we have this server uh, file so we will start this so we will say node server and as you can see we have a server listening on port 3000 and now the next step is to connect to that server. But as we said, we want to do this through uh, U. So we had, I had to define a module here. We don't want the server anymore. So these are the bindings to this library. This library is uh, included in the index HTML as you can see here. So we load the library in the global scope and then this is how we can interface with this library. It's quite the same. Uh, this is the client that matches the documentation here. We can create a client by calling this function as you can see and we get a client back so if we define that we have a type client and in our specific use case we can use this constructor method and we also give it a namespace of Coliseus because uh, this is the, the base namespace of the library and I will show you what I mean Let's start our application. So we will say trunk serve to start the application. 
Now, as I as I as soon as I visit this uh, this uh, URL, you will see here that we will get a new connection to the server. I will explain how this is done. But for now, let's open up the application. Okay, we have an application. Let's check the server. You see that we had the room created, and this client joined our room, as you can see. So the functionality works, but let's come back to this namespace, what this JS namespace means. And if we come to the application, you will see that we have the Colisius functionality under this namespace. So the library creates us this uh, namespace and all the functionality is gathered in here. So we are reaching for this function on the Colisius namespace. And we are mapping it. So the constructor is mapped to this new function, which accept, accepts a string, which is a URL. Just like here, if we go to the docs, you see that we provide a URL to this function. And this returns us a client. So we provide the URL and we get a client back. And then we define the methods on this client. And one method is the join or create, as we saw in the docs again. You see that it has this uh, join or create method, which is async, as you can see. But for our uh, purposes and our uh, prototyping, I did not look into making th this an async method. I just uh, was content uh, with the sync method, not sync method. Uh, I did not define this function as async, but it works this way too. The only problem is that I cannot handle the, the then, let's say, handler. But as I said, due to the fact that this is a prototype, I did not go into the trouble of defining this correctly. But uh, we can define this function, as you can see, which accepts uh, a reference to the client to itself. So this is a method. And it accepts a room name, a string. This could also be an str, I suppose, str. So this is the the bindings. And this is how we use it. We come here in our main uh, contents module, let's say. And this is how we use it. We can also make this an str, I suppose. So we don't have to do this. Neither do we have to do this. We will try this. And this is how we use it. Uh, we call uh, the constructor, so client new, with the URL that the server is running. And we saw that the server is running on port 3000, as you can see. And then we join or create this full uh, room, which is created in the server. So if we come back to the server, you see that I have defined this full uh, room. And we are using this room here. So we say join or create this full room. And if we come to the client to sorry to the server here, we have console logs. On create, we console log that the room was created. On join, we console log the client ID that joined. And we are getting all this output here at the server. So every time I reload the browser here, Uh, sorry, let's do it this way. Uh, 
Okay. Let me kill the server. And we restart the server. And now here in the browser, every time I reload, you see that we create the, the room. And then you see that we have, since we are calling a, every time a new, a new client, every time we get a new client that connects and a room that gets created. So as you can see, the functionality works. Oh, here. Uh, so this was, let me, sorry. Uh, let's also try the STR. Let's see if it will work with the STR. Here. It works, it doesn't break, okay. So yeah, this is in essence the bindings and the way we can use it from within Rust U. The only thing that I would uh, say is that uh, if somebody wants to use the client from within Rust, I think that the better way to do it is to write a Rust client for the Coliseus uh, bindings, because if you check here the docs, you will see that uh, there are client-side SDKs for these platforms. So the best way to go, I suppose, is to create a client-side SDK for Rust 2 instead of using it uh, through JavaScript uh, integration. But uh, as I said, uh, my goal was to see if this integration is possible and it seems that it is possible and this was the target uh, for my experiment. So yeah, this is uh, the information of the video. Um, until next time, Thank you for watching and have a great day.